By the end of this month, the automaker will stop production of gas-powered cars and go entirely electric. VinFast is going global with its electric vehicles, starting with the SUVs that will roll off the assembly line, like this one in Triangle, Triangle Innovation Point. Only on WRAL, our Matt Tallhelm shows, uh, shows us the future of manufacturing coming to North Carolina. We're inside what VinFast calls the General Assembly Shop. This is the VF9. It's one of the all-electric SUVs that the company will make in just about two years in North Carolina, rolling off a production line just like this. We're on this tour with journalists from the auto industry who tell me this kind of access is unprecedented. of the presses starts the process of molding these 20 to 50 ton die casts of metal into an automobile. This is the first stop for the pieces that will weave their way through VinFast's factory. The facility's manufacturing director came from General Motors. He walked with us through a tour of the five workshops housed in these expansive buildings. Right now, VinFast is producing 250,000 cars each year at this three-year-old facility. That's 38 cars per hour, spinning and pivoting through the almost entirely automated body shop. Sparks fly as these 1,200 robots weld 6,000 pieces together to build the form of each vehicle. 450 workers in this shop ensure the technology keeps the line rolling along. Our tour rolls on through the General Assembly shop. This is where the car bodies become the VinFast sedans and SUVs that drive on the streets. Along a line that stretches nearly two and a half miles, they're outfitted with 3,000 components from the interior and exterior to the engine. By the end of this month, every vehicle produced here will be electric, powered by packs put together on site. Battery cells are sorted and assembled in an automated process, then checked by the human eye. A battery production facility like this one is planned for the second phase of VinFast development in North Carolina. The state's first automaker may not look as futuristic as this manufacturing facility. More people will be hired to meet the incentive requirement to create 7,500 jobs. But this gives us a glimpse of what's to come in this tree-covered megasite just 30 minutes outside Raleigh. This reclaimed swampland in the port city of Haiphong is now covered in roads connecting the workshops across more than 800 acres. Riding through it feels massive, but it's less than half the size of the footprint VinFast plans in Chatham County. And Sin Chao, good morning, hello, live from Hanoi, Vietnam, the capital city. We are out here. We made our way from VinFast's factory about two hours from here. We're in the old quarter right now. I say good morning because it is 5 a.m. here in Vietnam. You can see the streets are pretty quiet, which is very different than they normally would be. This would be buzzing with a lot of scooters and cars. We're about to show you that in just a minute. You know, we've showed you so much about the economy here in Vietnam, but we want to share a little bit of the cultural experiences as well. We've been able to take advantage of some of that in between visiting all of these VinFast sites. Now, we started out at the Tang Long Water Puppet Theater. This is water puppetry, and it dates back to the 11th century. It was entertainment for the farmers and fishers in the countryside here. It features songs, a dance of fire-breathing dragons, and puppets that are guided by performers. They actually stand in the water behind a screen. And then from there, we hopped into a cyclo, or rickshaw, for a tour of the old quarter. Our cyclo driver carefully pedaled us through the chaotic traffic with the cars and scooters, pedestrians coming from every direction. I mean, it was kind of crazy out there. Our guide told us that traffic lights are more of a suggestion here in Hanoi. We definitely saw that. Cafes and bars, though, they're filled along the sidewalks. There's a lot of French influence here from the time that Vietnam was under French control. Now, this old quarter is actually one of the densest population centers in all of Asia. Coming up on WRAL News tomorrow, it's today our time, but tomorrow your time, we will actually take you to one of the sites that VinFast and Vin Group, its parent company, is building here. They do everything from schools to uh, residences, all kinds of things here. It's an ecosystem they've created more than just the VinFast cars that are coming to North Carolina. We want to show you a little bit more about this company and what they're bringing to North Carolina. That's coming up tomorrow on WRL News. <laughs> you know, it is incredible to see how huge that facility is there oh, and to know it's going to be even bigger here in Chatham County. Yeah. Matt Tallhelm reporting live in Hanoi, Vietnam. Thanks so much.